trendy purses made entirely by hand, and bow ties like you've never seen them before. Here at Alize, a Madagascan fashion label, the material of choice is raffia, a local palm fiber native to the Indian Ocean Island. Manuela Rakatomanga has been managing the brand for three years and now employs a dozen designers. But challenges are never far away. The difficult part of being an entrepreneur is reaching a point where you can hire professionals. Because today, for example, we have a lot of artisans who learn to crochet as it was passed down from mother to daughter. But they don't necessarily know proper crocheting techniques. We really had to monitor and put exact specifications in place so that our products are more or less the same size. Performer and stylist Sasha Bambam specializes in dramatic showstoppers for stage and screen. But aside from a few sewing classes, she's completely untrained. Nevertheless, she single-handedly dresses some of Madagascar's most popular and colorful performers. It's true that we need a real fashion school where we can teach young designers to create, not just to sew, but really to create a pattern. At the moment, we don't have a real design school here. There are schools for tailors and seamstresses where you can learn the basics. But when I wanted to create my own style, I had to hustle and figure it out on my own. Making the most of what's at hand is the common thread for all these young designers. Nani Andriyantse Ferrana created her label Vice Local in 2013, and today she has her own atelier and six employees. Hand-me-downs form the basis of her resourcefulness. We recycle a lot, second-hand shoes, second-hand accessories, but we try to do our best. You will never notice that your shoes are used, but in fact most of the materials used are recycled. Manuela's designs are already sold in France and India, and Nani has stockists in nearby Mauritius. And with a stitch here and a hustle there, these young creators are now hoping to conquer the fashion world one design at a time.